What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Howell Evans and today I'm going to take you through a 45 minute back workout. <laughs> Okay, what's going on guys? This is completely new to me. I'm actually doing a commentary today through my headset and through my new mic, so I'm not sure what the quality is actually going to be like. Hopefully it's okay for you guys and I can show you pretty much everything I'm doing today in the back routine. If not, maybe I will invite uh, invest in a mic in the future, but we're just going to roll with it today and see how it goes. So for the first episode, like I said in the actual intro, I'll be taking you through a back day today. And if this is the first time you've been on the channel for the 45 minute workouts, the idea of this is I usually allow around one minute for each working set. That can be sometimes excessive, but it also like takes into account then time between certain machines certain machines you have to work between so usually I say you work in time on every exercise is around about a minute so for this we're starting off with pull-ups this is going to be the first exercise and an absolute like fundamental exercise I use in all of my back training whether it be bulking or cutting for this we're shooting for about 10 to 12 reps or what I like to hit is usually 40 in total and as least sets as possible. So for this, I'm just going to say 10 to 12 reps for four sets. Aim for that for yourself with one minute working time. And then the rest time for this could be a little bit higher, around four times one minute 30 seconds for your rest. That's four minutes working, six minutes off for a total of about 10 minutes in this exercise. And then moving on from that, we're moving to like a more horizontal movement such as the bent over row, which you can see on screen here. For the bent over row, we're going to be using, again, one minute working time, so four sets of one minute, so that's four minutes total, with, again, a one minute 30 rest time, so six minutes for resting, taking it up to a 10 total of that. For this movement, though, it's going to probably be a little bit lighter than you're normally used to on a bent over row. For this movement, because it is like the compound movement of the back exercise in the horizontal plane, I would normally suggest to put the weight a little bit higher, but because this is the 45 minute workout and the idea of this is like uh, up in the intensity almost just to try and get as much work done in that time as possible, your reps are going to be around 10, uh, 12 to 15 on this exercise, which is like very different to what you might normally be used to. But again, give it a go because if it is different and your muscles aren't used to it, maybe it will promote a little bit of growth and it's always good to try something else you could wake up the next morning and have some serious doms and then you know you've worked out as long as it's not the right kind of pain and you're not coming back with lower back pain for being under tension for too long in that position so of course always be safe you can see me here wearing a belt i pretty much wear the belt through most of my back movements sometimes it's not needed but let's be honest it's just uh, all about those aesthetics when you're in the gym so that is why I've got a belt on for stuff like the cable pull down, which you'll be seeing next. At the point now, we're around about 20 minutes. So almost halfway through the routine already, and you've only done two exercises. But this is where it picks up a little bit. Now we're going to be moving into a cable pull down. And what I like to do on these recently is I'm going to give you the close grip pull down today to do. Simply because I feel like it actually improves your range of motion almost you can get right down to the chest and there's lats and working in a lot more like range rather than like a wide grip lat pull down which can also be like not only like less range but i just feel like this contracts a lot more the one thing i would say about this though is you can bring your pi uh, biceps into play a lot of the time and like you have to kind of avoid that by using them as hooks so as you can see with my hands instead of actually like gripping i'm trying to use them sort of as hooks and taking my thumb out of the equation this is something you'll have to practice and like just try and give it a go anyway for this we're working with one minute sets again but only for three this time so you've got your working time for three minutes and your rest time is one minute 30 again so we're looking at four minutes 30 for rest time that takes it to a total of 7 minutes 30 for this exercise, a little bit less than the first two exercises, but you have got less sets involved as well. Rep-wise, we're aiming for about 10 to 12, but as you can see on this set, I actually really struggle to hit 10. I think I put the weight a little bit too high coming out of my cut now, so trying to get back into those like rep ranges and stuff. If you do fail and you don't manage to hit 10, you can always use drop sets like you can see me doing here. Basically, I'm dropping the reps, uh, I'm dropping the weight 
about 50% down and I'm just going to rep it out for about 8 more reps just to try and like get that overall volume in because I hate skimping out on reps. Like if I'm shooting for 10 and I hit 8, I'm always going to throw a drop set in it. That's just the way my mind works about that. So that was the thought process behind that and obviously you guys can do exactly the same if you are looking to do that in your routines. Moving on from that vertical movement, we've done vertical, horizontal, vertical, back into horizontal plane now, we're going to do three sets of cable rows, and here you can see me not using the standard grip for the cable rows, a lot of you will see the metal bar, this is slightly different, and I kind of like this variation, I tried it out a few weeks ago, thought I'd give it a go for this video just to give you guys like the insight of it, basically I'm taking the two uh, grips which you would normally use for something like a cable fly, and attaching them to one pulley and basically that allows me to have a slight rotation in my wrists when I'm actually pulling the movement. I feel like I can contract a little bit more with this and it's something I'm working on, something I'm testing out so it might not be for you guys but obviously if you are thinking about testing it out and trying new things in the gym I highly recommend doing this. Josie showing me here on the grips that these are the ones I'm using so just so you guys can see they don't have to be like exactly them, of course. You can use the metal ones as well, but they give a little more flexibility and like they're nicer on the wrist. Anyway, like I said, three working sets, uh, one minute working sets, 10 to 12 reps. We're using one minute 30 rest time again here, so four minute 30 for resting and 7.30 total for this exercise. That brings the entire workout so far to 35 minutes. So you've got 10 minutes left. So basically we're gonna move into kind of another vertical movement but you're almost standing in a horizontal plane so kind of weird in that way basically it's the rope pullover and if you haven't done this exercise before it generally i feel it so much in the lat that's why i say like it's more a vertical movement even though the way you're standing anyway we're going to be shooting for higher sets of this again and higher reps this is kind of like the burnout exercise the finisher because the weights are a little bit less so we're aiming for four sets, working sets of one minute again, so that's four minutes working time total. Rest time, we're going to drop slightly on this one again, one minute, so that's a total of eight minutes on this exercise, four and four. So you're working just as half the time that you're actually resting, and reps are going to be relatively high on this movement. I would shoot for about 12 to 15 Again, this is a burnout movement. If you don't want to complete the reps as slow and controlled as me, which I do generally recommend for most movements, then you can like pump them out and get that pump and go for 15 plus reps. But again, you're going to have to take your weight into account then. So just like bear that in mind. Make sure you are using the lats on this movement because it can. this is a tricky movement. So yeah, something you have to get used to. That will take your total time of workout to 43 minutes, which is less than 45 minutes. That's the goal of this series, guys, to get you in and out of the gym nice and quick. Something that I think is essential and something I think that is worth learning. If you are on a busy schedule, if you are a student or if you are in a workplace where you're working 12 hours a day, sometimes you don't want to be going to the gym for an hour and a half. You want to be in and out in 45 minutes. And these type of workouts will help you out in that case. So... That's the idea behind them, guys, and I just hope that is sort of giving you some knowledge in this, like, workout routine. I'm going to be doing the rest in the future, obviously, and like I said, if you are new, I already actually have some up on the channel. So if you are looking to look at my older ones, they are already up, but then the, the criticism I had from them was I did the back routine, and basically I included biceps with the back, and for chest, I think I included triceps with that as well. And maybe I included abs with legs. I'm not 100% certain off the top of my head. But basically, this time around, I'll be doing the series. The back day will be specifically for back, no arms. Chest day specifically for chest, and so on, so on. And then I will do a separate 45-minute workout for arm days, which shouldn't normally take 45 minutes, of course. And this isn't a split that I would recommend, but it is in and out, like... Usually, if you are looking to be in and out of the gym in 45 minutes, you're not going to be too worried about, like, actually doing bicep work. So, this is your back routine in less than 45 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys take something valuable from this. And if you have, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and maybe even share it with your friends because it helps me out a ton. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.